Hi, and welcome back to MyExcelOnline.com. Today we are going to show you how to use the group by function in Microsoft Excel. So by the end of this video, you should be able to use the group by function right here in cell E1 that will allow you to sum up all of the regions in column A with the sum total for each of those regions from column C. Also, we will have some additional training options for you at the end of this video, so stick around for that. So if I click in cell E1 and I type equals and the word group by with a left parenthesis, the first argument I'm going to be prompted for is where is the data that I wish to be grouping my sum total by? So I'm going to click on A2 and just drag all the way down to the end of my data set at A29 and then type a comma. And then the next argument I'm going to be prompted for is where is the data that I wish to sum up here? And so that is in C2 all the way down to C29. And then I'm going to type a comma. And then my last argument is what do I wish to do with this grouping by? Now I've said it's going to be a sum, but I just want you to see some of these other options. You can do account, you can do max, you can do min, you can do anything that you can usually use what is known as an aggregate function right here. So I'm just going to type sum, close my parentheses, and hit enter. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. And now you can see that starting in E1, I have selected each one of my regions and I've given a sum total for all of them right here in column F. So if I go through and I just highlight each of my east ones, I'm holding down the control button as I click each of them. And I look down here on my status bar, I can see that the sum for each of my east ones is in fact 41,000, just like what I'm having right here in F1. But because this function spills out into other cells, I just wanna note that if I click up here, where it looks like I can edit the formula, it's just going to disappear because the whole formula is right here in cell E1. So just keep that in mind that when you type the group by function, it's gonna spill over into other cells. So there's also a couple other functions that act like this, like the pivot by function and an image function. And we go over those a little bit more in detail out on our blog. And I'm going to include a link to that blog entry in the description below on YouTube if you would like to go there and learn more. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for us and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click up here and join our Academy online course today.